DTG 3675 Operation Instructions Let's get started with the different axes and degrees of the machine. One number of degree A and degree B is equal to one degree. One number of degree C is equal to two degrees. One number of spindle dial wheel rotation is equal to five degrees. DTG 3675 Operation Instructions HSS Drill Bit Grinding with Green Wheel First of all, we will unlock degree B to set it to 90 degrees. Then, to clamp the drill bit, we will first lock degree C in the vertical position and set the spindle dial wheel to number 9. We will then align one of the two edges parallel to number 9 and tighten it with the chuck key. We need to keep only three simple steps in mind while sharpening the HSS drill bit. Step 1. To sharpen the back relief, we first need to set degree C to number 2, which is equal to minus 4 degrees and then lock degree C. Then unlock degree B and lock it to 103 degrees which equals to 118 degrees of drill bit resharpening. Now, remove the spindle dial wheel pin from number 9 and set it on number 3. Move axis X and Y to bring the drill bit closer to the face of the green wheel. Adjust both the edges of the drill bit against the face of the green wheel by softly hammering it with a fiber hammer. The use of the hammer is important only when the length of the flute of the drill bit is 25 mm to 42 mm. Whereas, it will self-align when the length of the drill bit is lower than 25 mm. The spindle of the machine is taper MT5 in which you can directly place the 42 mm to 75 mm drill bit. Because of the spindle's direct accuracy, hammering will not be required. A point to be kept in mind is that even a scratch in the MT5 taper degree can lead to a difference in the accuracy. We can use either reduction sleeve or ER40 MT5 collet holder to achieve the desired result of accuracy for the drill bit with diameter less than 42 mm. After aligning with the hammer, we will set the spindle dial wheel to number 3. Move the X and Y axis away from the green wheel and then start the machine. Now, using the X and Y axis, make the drill bit touch the diameter of the green wheel. Now, we will remove the spindle dial wheel which was set at number 3 to unlock it so that it can rotate freely. Keep rotating the spindle dial wheel in a clockwise direction and rotate the Y axis in graduals in an anti-clockwise direction to bring the spindle dial wheel closer as per requirement. This will bring the green wheel and the drill bit closer and back relief will be generated. After the back relief has been generated, take the drill bit farther from the green wheel using the X and Y axis. Step 2. Sharpening the cutting edge of the drill bit. To sharpen the cutting edge, all you need to do is unlock the C degree and lock it on number 1 
which is equivalent to minus 2 degrees. Now, set the spindle dial wheel pin on number 3. Use the X and Y axis, make the drill bit touch the diameter of the green wheel. Now, unlock the spindle dial wheel which we had set on number 3 so that the spindle wheel can rotate freely. After that, as prescribed earlier, keep rotating the spindle dial wheel in a clockwise direction and rotate the Y axis in graduals in an anti-clockwise direction to bring it closer as per requirement. This will bring the green wheel and the drill bit closer and generate the cutting edge. After the cutting edge has been generated, Take the drill bit farther from the green wheel using the X and Y axis. Step 3. Sharpening the web edge of the drill bit. Web thinning. To generate web thinning, first of all unlock the C degree and lock it on number 5, that is, plus 10 degrees. Now set the spindle dial wheel on number 6. Thereafter, Bring the drill bit closer to the green wheel by using the X and Y axis. Now, using only the Y axis, bring the corner of the green wheel on the center of the drill bit and sharpen it up to the center. Remember the number on the X axis. Now, to create the web thinning up to the same center on the other side of the drill bit, keep in mind the X axis. Thereafter, Keeping the Y axis as it is, take the spindle dial wheel pin away from the green wheel by rotating only the X axis. Now, set the spindle dial wheel pin on number 6, which is on the opposite side of the current number 6. Using the X axis, bring the drill bit closer to the wheel. Rotate the dial wheel on the first side up to the number on the X axis, which was required to be remembered and sharpen the web thinning. Now, using the X and Y axis, take the drill bit away from the green wheel and switch off the machine. Unlock the C degree and lock it in the vertical position and check. With the help of this user-friendly machine, in only a few seconds and three easy steps, your drill bit is ready to cut again as before.